Good morning, lovely people. Today the question is, is aquaponics dangerous? Yeah, some people ask me this. They email me with this question, but I'm not sure what they mean. Because I can see two kinds of hazards that people can imagine. For me, the biggest hazard is linked to having any body of water. You know, when you have open water, if it's in a pond or in a tank, um, you can always have people, and especially kids, who fall into it and drown. So that's the biggest hazard that I can think of with aquaponics. And uh, having an open pond like this, can attract kids. And depending on where you live, depending on the country and the state where you live, you may have different rules. For instance, if it was a swimming pool, I would need to have a fence all around the pool. But here in Victoria, because the main purpose is not to swim in, then I don't need a fence. It's a bit of a stupid rule because uh, the hazard is exactly the same. But the reality is that the government knows that if they put a rule to have a fence around the pond, not many people will have a pond anymore. And therefore it's going to kill a business. So as a citizen, I follow the rule, but also I, I am aware that it may represent a hazard. So when you design your pond, one of the things you want to do to avoid this problem is to do a first step at 30 centimeters deep. Which means that if any kid falls in it, it will try to swim back to the shore and then it will be able to go away. If it's deeper than 30 centimeters, it may be more dangerous. That's the first point. The second hazard that some people think of is from a food safety perspective. So they're asking if basically growing, growing plants and vegetables with fish poop isn't dangerous. Can it be harmful due to some bacteria? And that's a, a point that we talk about it again and again and again. We hear about people dying when they eat berries or things like this because they are not washed. And because those berries they were grown with uh, animal manure. So people make the link. They think, okay, if animal manure can transmit disease, aquaponics must not be safe then. But there is one thing they don't take in consideration is that the animals we are growing in this pond, or in any aquaponics pond, they are fish. And fish are cold blood animals. So the bacteria that are growing in the fish guts are very different to the bacteria that are living in our guts. And there is no bacteria that is present in the fish intestine that can present any harm to humans. Can, can give a disease to humans. That is the reason why the technique is safe, completely safe. There is absolutely no risk consuming a, consuming a plant that has been grown with fish pieces. Now there is one thing that we must keep in mind is that wherever you are growing your aquaponic system, unless you are indoor in your house, if it's outdoor, you have a semi-open ecosystem. Which means that you may always have birds that come around and just release their waste in your garden. In this case, uh, birds are warm-blown animals. They will contaminate 
you crop, such as in any garden. So you always have a minimal risk regarding any contamination from the outside. But by, it, by itself, the technique of aquaponics is very safe. Now, I often see people asking me about ducks in aquaponics. And then, for me, it's an interesting variation, but uh, you know, when you add ducks, of course, you increase the quantity of waste that you're going to release in the pond. So you would need a, a very large, larger uh, veggie patch. And for me, it's more interesting to grow more fish than to grow one duck. But that's, that's something that can be considered still. Even myself, I was thinking sometimes, oh, it would be nice to have one duck here. That would be very fun. That would be fun, but that wouldn't be very smart from an ecosystem perspective. And the thing we need to take in consideration here is that duck, such as all the other birds, they are warm blood animals. So once you introduce a duck in your pond, then you create, you introduce a hazard for human consumption, which means that then all the plants, the veggies that you are consuming may be contaminated, maybe. Hence, you will need to wash everything properly before you consume it and you would need to be more careful. We could, we could even go as far as cooking the food before consuming it. For me, the interest, the, one of the best properties of aquaponics is to be able to eat the food fresh, you know, when it's alive. When you eat the watercress alive, it's extremely yummy, it's crunchy, but it's also full of vitamins and nutrients. And those vitamins, when you cook the food, you lose them, or you lose a lot of them. That's why I prefer eating my um, aquaponics crop raw. It's not always the case, right? Uh, my partner, she likes to do some kind of veggie pie. That's fine, it's fine by me, but I like to consume part of the crop raw. So if you have a duck, then it's um, either you have to wash the crop very properly, carefully, or even with that you always take a risk. Either you cook the food, but you don't consume the vitamins, you lose the vitamins. That is the reason why I don't have any, any duck on my pond, actually. Also, the other reason is that the surrounding of the pond is quite nice, and I don't want to have duck poop on it. <laughs> Wouldn't look the best. But I love having ducks, and uh, having a pond for them would be nice, but probably not. I would probably dedicate a special pond for them, and I would probably do some uh, some plant growth from, from it, possibly, that I will cook. I will keep an aquaponic system where I can consume the, the crop raw. So I'm not saying that if you have ducks, you are stupid, uh, not at all, right? It's just that there are some advantages and some disadvantages, and that's what we need to keep in mind when whatever we do. There is, no, there is always a, a plus and a minus in every choice, every decision that we make. And nobody is stupid, it's just that if you understand the plus and the minus, then you can take the decision that you want for yourself. Another animal that people like to have in aquaponics, and even myself, I would love to have it, is a turtle. And turtles are cold blood animals. So you will think that turtles are completely fine in aquaponics. The only particularity of, of, of reptiles is that they can transmit, they can host a bacteria called Salmonella. And this bacteria can be very harmful for humans as well. So, 
you know, reptiles are very specific, they are not like fish. And for this reason, um, you can have it, but uh, same thing, you will need to wash your, your food properly and eventually possibly to cook it. So guys, it's really up to you what you want to do. But definitely uh, having, a, having a turtle in the aquaponic system will make it look very cool. Will be a very nice uh, addition to the ecosystem. And let's be honest, if you go in nature, around the lake, you always have ducks, you always have turtles living together with fish. It doesn't stop you from eating whatever you caught from the from the lake. If you catch a fish, you will eat it. It's not because it's living with a duck or it's living with a turtle that you don't eat it. You even eat the duck by itself. But just the veggies that you can grow from the aquaponic system, you want to make sure you wash them properly before you consume them. So really it's a personal choice. Uh, but if you want to keep stay on the very safe side of things. I would recommend to stick to fish or actually cold blood animals that are not reptiles. And so in this case, you can consume your vegetables, harvest them, consume them, and uh, it will be very healthy. And it will boost your intake in vitamins in a way that nothing else is doing so. If you buy veggies from the shop, very often they are grown with pesticides. So unfortunately, we can't really consume them as they are. We need to wash them properly. Um, and then even the quantity of vitamins present, uh, we, can, we can guess that it's not at, this, at the highest. So when you grow your own food at home, it's a privilege to be able to eat some fresh and live food directly and consume the vitamins. That's what I guess most of us are deficient on. So if you want to learn more about aquaponics, you are welcome to join the Aquaponics Revolution community. We are a bunch of like-minded people who want to grow some food in our backyard with the use of uh, aquaponics techniques. When you join, you get a starter kit where I give you some critical information to start aquaponics, knowing what are the different ratio limits to respect. And I send you a few updates on what we are doing here, what is happening in terms of uh, innovation, experimentation. We are over 10,000 people in this group. And uh, if you want to join, there is a link into the description of this video. So I look forward to seeing you on the other side. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.